What is up guys? Welcome to the spring bracket of this lore tournament series. If you're not sure how this tournament works, here is the breakdown. This is a tournament where we pit two lures against one another in the season they do best in. Every fish they catch is one point while each pound of fish weighs is another. And yes, we do include decimals. Each lure gets two hours of fishing, totaling four hours for the round. Whoever has the most points at the end of the round moves on while the other is eliminated. If there's a tie after four hours, it's sudden death and the next fish wins. Now, today, I'm currently at my house. I'm not at the lake like I was at the previous ones. That's because we may not be going to that same lake today, the private pond that I fished in the winter. What we are going to do is I have my roulette wheel on my phone. We're going to bring that back and we are going to allow that to choose the lake for today's matchup. Now, with that being said, let's introduce our opponents. First up, we have the first seated frog. The frog is a topwater lure known for its blowups. Frogs are most effective during the early morning or late evening hours. However, during those hot days in spring or summer, they could be really effective near lily pads and other shady cover. Next up we have the fourth seated swim bait. The swim bait is an effective lure near submergent vegetation and can be an absolute killer during the spawn. Bass see this lure as some type of bluegill or forage trying to eat their eggs and will strike to protect them. Alright let's spin the wheel and see which lake we're going to today. Wow, it's technically Greenwich, so I guess we are going to Greenwich today. That's where we're going to put the frog up against the swim bait. Okay, so we made it to Greenwich Lake. First up is the frog. We're gonna, we have it tied on. Let's get this started. One hour on the clock and begin. Something just came up for it, something small. What the hell is wrong with my braid? Okay, we have one hour set on the clock for the swim bait and begin. This small little baby bass right. Here's the female. There it is. That is time up for the swim bait. We are currently 0-0 after hour number one. Okay, so we've got the frog tied on. This is a Booyah pad crasher. We've got the frog tied on. We are giving it an hour and 10 minutes because if my last two frogs the last time I was out here broke off with 10 minutes remaining so I had to get new frogs I got a whole bunch of them this time hopefully we can get this done and catch some fish yes I'm talking about you what do you want something just came up and bit it Right when I was reeling it in, I wasn't even expecting it. Is 
Something's biting it, it's just not taking it. They're swiping at it, they're not taking it though. Time is up. I didn't have my ringer on, that's why I didn't go off, but time is up. I felt the phone vibrating in my pocket. Now it's time for the swim bait. And if it catches just one bass, it moves on to the next round and upsets the first seated frog. Okay, so we have the swim bait tied on. This is actually a trout swim bait. It looks just like a rainbow trout. And they do stock this lake with rainbow trout. So maybe we can catch one on the swim bait. And remember, all the swim bait needs is just one fish. If it catches one fish, the tournament's over. If it doesn't, it goes to sudden death. Oh, something just came up for it. There it is, there is time up for the swim bait. So after two rounds, we are still scoreless. So what that means is we go to a sudden death fish off. The next lure to catch a bass wins and moves on to the next round. Whoa, 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 we're getting to the best part, sudden death and you're about to stop it? Yes, I am leaving you on a cliffhanger. The bass are on their beds. They're kind of finicky. They're chasing, they're chasing the lure. They're just not coming up and committing to biting it. So, with that being said, stay tuned for Sudden Death.